What is going on guys? Gray here today. I'd like to go over a checklist of things you should do as soon as you log into Destiny 2 once the Witch Queen launches here in just a couple hours. The very first thing that I would recommend doing is adding the highest XP mod that you have available to you onto your ghost. That way you're gaining a little bit of XP, extra XP while you're playing you know, all this new content. So a little bit of extra XP can go a long way in the end. So make sure you have the best or the highest mod available to you. And if you get one later on, like maybe we get something, you know, like some of the ones we've had in the past that are, you know, they expire when one, once the season's over. If you start getting higher level ones, you can swap that out kind of down the road. The next thing I would do is make sure that you're keeping all your gear. I, I'm sure most of you will be doing this, but all the gear that you have on right now is definitely not going to be, you know, useless. Yes, we're going to be going up in level a lot compared to what we are right now. You're going to be getting a lot of blue gear that's a lot higher level. What I'm going to do is just every time I get a new piece that's higher level, like always when ranking up, I'm just going to start applying those pieces to my character or my characters, all three of my characters. Then I'm going to place the gear they have on in the vault. Now, some of you may have played for a really long time. You have really good artifice gear on all of your uh, characters and you may not need to you know really get anything new later down the road some of us if you're like myself i've only been playing again uh, back into destiny for about three months so all the artifice gear i have is not the best so i may find a few new pieces along the way once i get towards the soft cap and higher that are better than some of the artifice pieces i have i may keep those but my plan is to pretty much everything i have on my characters right now all the artifice care, uh, gear that i have on my hunter my titan and my warlock i'm just going to once i hit that soft cap apply those back to my character and start leveling them up with what I have acquired through playing the stories, playing the missions and all that kind of stuff. So once you start acquiring new gear, just place your old gear in the vault or in the, you know, just to make sure you're holding on to it. You can keep it on your character, whatever the case may be, but I would definitely not recommend getting rid of that gear. I know a lot of people may think, you know, if you're a newer player that all the old stuff's not going to be worth keeping. Some of the stuff you have may be better than what you end up with uh, later down the road. So I would definitely recommend if you have artifice gear, if you're a newer player, definitely hang on that or hang on to that. Just make sure that you're keeping your gear, placing it somewhere where you can use it later on because that gear that we have acquired from the last couple seasons is maybe still, you know, the best thing that we have available to us. Also, make sure that you're not really turning in any bounties until you get that artifact, uh, artifact quest done and you have your artifact acquired. That would be one thing I would recommend doing as quickly as possible. We all know that you're going to have a couple missions early on that's probably going to get us into the weapon crafting, but as soon as you get that option to get a, a quest to unlock your artifact, I would recommend unlocking that artifact as quickly as possible and then you know start leveling that up. Now, when it comes to turning in bounties, I know some of you may have a ton of bounties saved and you may have to get rid of a couple you know, to save, to kind of save room or get room. I guess for the new quest that you're going to be getting during the witch queen but i would not recommend really turning in any bounties until you have that artifact acquired that way that's kind of the purpose of it you can level that artifact up a lot quicker than everyone else will be able to i would recommend only turning in the bounties you have saved for xp only early on and then once you get kind of towards that soft cap and you have that progress towards your weekly challenges unlocked start turning in your things like your vanguard your crucible you know, your other vendor uh, bounties you may have, I would recommend turning those in once you're at that soft cap and you have access to that, you know, that progress toward those weekly challenges. There's really no need in turning in all your Crucible or all your Vanguard bounties early on. I would wait and save those until you get that progress, like I said, unlocked at the soft cap. Save, use everything else you have, you know, up until that point. Make sure that you're doing the legendary story. I know a lot of you may go in and play it, you know, just on normal to begin with. But I would highly recommend going back in and playing that legendary story on solo or with friends or clan mates. I don't think there's going to be, I haven't heard anything. I may be wrong, but I don't think there's going to be a way to match make it, but make sure you're playing that legendary story because kind of like I was talking about at the beginning of the video with those pieces of blue gear that we're going to get, we're going to end up with a set of gear at 1520 when it's completed. If you play the story on legendary and at least eight upgrade modules. So you'll be able to take that blue gear and put it into your old gear that like I was talking about your old artifice gear and have a good set of, you know, 15, 20 gear as soon as you finish that legendary story. So make sure that you're, you know, kind of keeping up with all that. And last but not least, if you see any weapons that you acquire instead of a white box around them, that has a red box around it, that is the new kind of deep sight weapons. These will unlock perks, perks for weapon crafting. Even if you don't like the roll or the weapon, I would highly recommend keeping all of them. And because we're not quite sure 
how often we're going to be able to get these weapons and how often these things are going to pop up. So make sure you're keeping those weapons for, uh, you know, kind of later purposes of weapon crafting. Anyway, guys, let me comment your thoughts. And of course, if you'd like to hit the like, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.